Hello YouTube, this is You Could Do It Dave. So I'm in the process of hooking up a, uh, a hydraulic oil filter in line on my mini excavator. Okay, it did not come with one and I do not want to run it too long without a filter. Okay, so I went onto YouTube and there's a nice video of someone who put on a Donaldson P551551. 551551. Okay, well, I went to the local Princess Auto and they had this guy plus the head for it. So it just screws on there nice and nice and snug. Okay. Well, this is a three-quarter inch thread. Okay. So um, I went to my local uh, hydraulics guys. They're really helpful guys. And they put this thing together pretty quick for me, like half an hour, 45 minutes. And I had to pick up the hoses the next day, but hey, that, that's okay. So I went with um, two 90s, just like that. Okay, so I can mount that in the machine. Um, while I was at it, I also picked up a small inlet uh, inlet pressure, let's see if I can get a picture here, inlet pressure gauge. It goes up to something like 85 PSI. Um, now, considering that this filter here maxes out at 150, I'm just going to put this guy on the supply side of this filter. Okay, so when this filter starts getting dirty and plugged up, the pressure is going to build up on this side. And so I'm thinking when this thing maxes out at 80, 85 PSI, it's time to change this filter. Then it'll start flowing through again and the pressure should drop. So I figure this is invaluable because worth, this was like 20 bucks. So it's, it's worth the money. Okay. So we've got the, we've got the, uh, we've got the filter. We've got the two elbows. And they're just, it's going to be mounted up on the machine. We got the pressure gauge, which is a, a good thing. Um, so now you have the line coming off the hydraulic, the hydraulic controls. And this used to go into the tank. Okay. Well, instead of going into the tank, I'm just going to put in this adapter. Now, they did not have... Um, five eighths inch hose. The, all they had was half inch, which is a, a size down. Okay, so I told him, I said, Well, I'm not canceling this project. Can you go bigger? So I went from five eighths to three quarter. Okay, so I got the adapter, it goes from uh, DIN to I'm not sure what you call it. And it just screws right in there. Okay. So um, where this thing... So where this thing comes off the, off the machine and right by where the tank is, I'm just going to tap into it like this. Put this on here. Okay. And then I've got the exact same thing on the other side. With the matching fitting for on the tank. And that will go over here. Okay, so hopefully when I get this thing installed, this one will come off, off the machine. This will be mounted somewhere in the engine compartment. Okay, so it'll go, come off the machine, go through the filter with the fancy little pressure gauge, go back into the storage tank, kind of like that, and it should work. Okay, so here we have the uh, hydraulics exposed. Okay, so let's 
put this back together in reverse order. So the first thing I need to do, cover this up. So this is a, uh, a hollow bolt. And I had to loosen this one off to be able to get this one out. Okay, so make sure that you don't lose that little ring there. There's another ring on the other side. So now I can put this hose back on there, making sure that that hole, when, I, when it's done, is lined up with the hole in there. Okay, so since I have to make sure that this hole lines up with that hole, like that, you can see on the top there I've taken a drill bit and I've just scratched a line so that I know when I get this thing in which way is up. I got a mark there, I got a mark there, and I got a mark there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're back. We're back where we started. We have the uh, the main hose from the hydraulic controls going down in there. So now we got to go down in here and put in the adapters and all that stuff. Okay, so after assembling the uh, all the hoses and the oh, filter holder, let's try and see how she fits in there. I gotta be careful that I don't rip off any of these wires. And I'm, I'm thinking it might be mounting back here somewhere under the seat, but we'll see. Okay, so just doing it one step at a time. I got the inlet hose attached to the hose that goes into the tank. And now the outlet hose, which is in there, is the one underneath and it almost lines up perfectly right there so I'm gonna put that on and then we'll see where we're at okay so that's got that one done those ones are already tight that one there is tight now I got to get down in and do that one right there Okay, so after making sure that the hydraulic hoses are all nice and tight all the way around and making sure that the inlet and the outlet are in the proper spots, I can now take that little plug out and install my little pressure gauge. Now, in hindsight, in hindsight, this would go a lot easier if you made this connection down here while you have this while you have this main hose out okay it is kind of a pain in the butt getting the wrenches down in there so uh while you have this off connect these two two hoses together and it'll save you a lot of monkeying around um what else oh yeah trying to find a home for this thing i, di I didn't put the pressure gauge on until after i'm done playing around because I didn't want to break it. Okay. Well, now that it's now that I've got a now that I've got it in there, in about the same in about the spot where it's going to go, right about there, I can put in the pressure gauge and see how it works. Now, for my machine, when I pulled out this main hose, the wire harness was zip tied to the hose. So I got a zip tie here, I'm gonna put that back on. Okay, so after a lot of playing around, I finally got the filter in there. So I can, I can see my gauge. Filter's screwed on as tight as it can go, as tight as I can make it. And all the connections are in. So now let's start her up and see if she works. But now that, 
For right now, I've just held it on with this bolt here. It's just stuck on there. Because now that I've got the uh, now that I've got the oil filter in there, I'm going to have to take the bolts off and open this thing up. Because there's not a whole lot of room in there now. <laughs> okay, so after uh, filling up my little oil change thing, the oil drain screw is not leaking. this thing from rubbing on the engine I, zip, I put a zip tie on here we'll see how long that lasts um, what I did to make sure this was not leaking well I dried it off really good with a piece of paper towel and I don't see any drips at all so I'm gonna say that's good what do we got there Okay, so I dried that off really good. Now I'm going to have to give it another test drive. And there's okay. And I'll have a look in here. Not seeing any oil drips anywhere. That's good. Okay, so, like my keychain. Okay, so now I just have to figure out where to mount this thing. Somewhere in here, probably in this corner over here. So I'm going to have to take this off to change the filter. Okay, so uh, after another quick little test drive, there are no leaks anywhere. So it's time to button this thing back up. So, Okay, so after fighting with that thing for a little while, Finally got it to sit down into place. Now let's put the bolts in the front here. And then we can put the handles on. Okay, so I took these things off. And the way mine are held on is it's a rubber boot with four screws. Nuts and, nuts and screws. You don't take those off. You take the ones off on the steel plate okay and then you got these caps so let's let's screw this back on first okay so the four bolts are on there's three larger bolts holding this steel plate to a frame you don't want to take those off at least on this machine anyways so now these guys they just fit right over top that make sure you get them the right direction because if you don't get them the right direction they don't fit okay so they'll go on with the eight self-tapping screws that came out of them and then we'll put the little handles on okay now you guys remember this magnetic pickup tool I told you to put in your toolbox well I just dropped one of my screws way down in there. <laughs> and I'm talking way down in there. And 
And there you go. Okay, so the boots are back on. Now we got these little curved pieces here. They just fit on like that. And these things here have a little screw hole in them that fit right on there. I don't think they're, oh, well, maybe they are directional. Yeah, this one has a lip on it and that has a lip on it. So I'm gonna guess that that lip fits in there. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's got a lip. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put the little screws in the front here. Okay, so one of the things I'm noticing putting these handles on is you really got to push down. You really got to push down on it to get the screw screw threads to show. Otherwise, it just bounces back up. So it's a nice snug fit. Okay, so it's all back together now. Okay. Um, still have to put the floor plate back on, but that's, that's beside the point. Uh... Lots of hydraulic fluid in there. So now I will keep you guys updated on where I mount, end up mounting this filter. Right now it's just being held in with this one bolt, right where the seat used to bolt into. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like it's touching the engine anywhere. Okay. As with any project, I'm going to say this is... Do so at your own risk, okay? Um, if the hose blows up on you or it's touching the engine and it melts and it blows up on you, if the filter blows up on you, don't blame me, okay? Do, so, do this at your own risk. Now, that really surprised me that it's 10 PSI. But that's good because... I got all, once it gets up 60, 70, 80, I know that filter's starting to get plugged up, so that's good. So this is You Can Do It, Dave, and I'm building a Hobbit home.